Creekside with Kaylin. Middle of the day. Doesn't get much better than this to be outside with the fall weather, in between activities, and reflecting on yesterday my experience in writing group. See if this helps you. I have, I, we sat with emotions and entered meditation and so we had a lot of spaciousness to open up to the possibilities of writing. And I caught the storyline and a part activated saying and controlling this idea that I should have something to say about the past two years. I really should be writing. Why can't I pull this together? There should be a cohesive storyline. It should fit in with the rest of my life. Make sense of the past two years, Caitlin, so then you can move on. There's this whole drama, right, storyline that I was living but couldn't see until yesterday that I was in it. And so once I went through those practices, somatic practices, meditation, then I could see that storyline. Then I could drop it and say, ah, what if we don't need to do any of that? <laughs> what if the past two years are never going to make any sense in the storyline of Caitlin? What if nobody cares or nobody needs to hear it or like it's just done and it released, it opened up possibilities then to write. And that's just yesterday. So it's not like, and then I wrote 500 words and I was so productive. No, that's not the point of this either. It doesn't then transform into magical like um, uh, productivity or something. I'm just pointing out that you're, in, you're witnessing this middle of the of what I'm experiencing catching a part in action noticing it releasing it giving it space and now I have freedom what's going to emerge in that freedom I still got to watch myself because again it'll turn into like well now we can write all the things and that's not where I'm headed either so to be continued but it is all percolating and a beautiful day to just rest in spaciousness, rest in the freedom. So I hope you get that opportunity today wherever you are too.